What is up guys, Toxic Monkey here, and today we're going to talk about solo tips and tricks for Outriders. Let's get into it. I know there are a lot of people struggling with the difficulty of Outriders, at least early on in the missions. So to start off, I would recommend by lowering the world tier difficulty. The world tier system acts as a way to increase the rewards by increasing the enemy's level and difficulty. This is a great system as it can completely change a level when trying to replay it. However, it makes it much harder when trying to beat the campaign for one of your first through few playthroughs. So I would definitely recommend lowering it down to a much more manageable level. Personally, I play on World Tier 5, which is not too overboard, but it also adds a little bit of difficulty, at least earlier on in your playthrough. The only thing that seems to change is the amount of drop rates for gear that you get. You still get a large amount of XP, which is helpful for easily leveling as you can complete missions much more faster than you would with a higher tier difficulty. Outriders has it so it automatically ups your world tier each time you unlock one, however this can be changed in the world tier system. I would definitely recommend doing this as you do not want to continue to be scaling up your world tier. It makes the game much more unenjoyable as it can be extremely difficult for your first few playthroughs when you're just trying to figure out your character and class and the best ways of playing the game for you. The next tip that I have is to sit back a little more and take advantage of Outrider's cover system. By using the cover system, you can easily clear out large amounts of adds with ease. You'll take little amount of damage and can easily progress through the campaign with little difficulty. As you can see in the video, I'm sitting back more and using long range weapons to clear out enemies. This is a great system and should definitely be taken advantage of in higher tier difficulty things if you are trying to play solo. The next thing I would like to talk about is the use of the melee ability. The melee ability is something I didn't use very often during my first few hours of playthrough. However, as I got further in the game, I realized how powerful of a tool this really is. The melee ability is something that should be used all the time, especially when enemies are up close and personal with you. The melee ability I have allows me to freeze enemies almost immediately. This is something that can be extremely useful in the solo situation, as if I'm being overwhelmed, I can immediately freeze a group of enemies in order to move to a better cover location to recover some health. The final tip that I have may not apply to everybody, but if you have yet to choose your class and are still debating on which one to go with, I would recommend, if you're going to only play solo, choose the Technomancer class. This is a great class as it gives you a turret, which is essentially like another player. It can be used to distract enemies, while you can move to different cover locations and continue fire. The class also has some of the best healing abilities for survivability, especially in solo situations. This means this class is vital for any solo player as it can make the game so much easier when trying to progress through high tier world tier activities. So overall, as a new solo player, the main things I would recommend would be to lower your world tier difficulty to something more manageable for you and your playstyle, to take advantage of the use of cover throughout your game, to not forget about your melee ability, and if you have yet to choose your character, choose the Technomancer, as I feel it is by far the best class for survivability and solo play in all of Outriders. I hope you found these tips useful, and if you have any other tips yourself for solo play, feel free to leave them down in the comments below.